the source and transit zone, the wild and lawless open ocean of the Caribbean and Eastern Pacific Ocean, where smugglers of illegal narcotics and immigrants attempt to transit their illicit cargo from Central and South America north to the United States. This expanse of endless ocean is the place where the pirates of the 21st century make their first moves to unload their booty of uncut cocaine and heroin, marijuana, or illegal migrants to the next stop along the line of the international criminal chain. This is also where U.S. Customs and Border Protection meets them head on, stopping them and breaking links in that chain one by one. The tool of choice? The P-3 Orion aircraft, CBP's eyes over the ocean. We're in the, the uh, heart of the hunting ground, per se, of looking for drug runners. This location offers us a great opportunity to be able to go out, prosecute, be able to come back, refuel, go back out if necessary. Most of the conveyances we, we follow nowadays are going to be surface conveyances, either small vessels, high-speed vessels, so we call them go fast. They're modified fishing boats, uh, two, three, sometimes even single engines. Chasing a semi submersible, uh, which is one of these uh, almost hurts us submarines that they'll have out. We can have a fishing boat with that, or we could be uh, chasing a, a tanker or a container ship. We have to go downrange and try to intercept these loads while they're still large, before they're dispersed. Uh, we're the best asset for that. People on this airplane have been doing this job for years and decades. It's what we do all the time. It's what we're really good at. The P-3 aircraft is flown by very experienced CBP pilots. They guide this aircraft over the ocean to a designated target search area, commonly referred to as the box. And behind them is a massive array of sensory equipment, which is the technological heart of the P-3 mission. Now, once the aircraft reaches the box, CDP officers and agents who are detection experts use that powerful radar to search for, pinpoint, track, and monitor any suspicious targets that they find in the air and on the ocean. You know, when you get a good case and you, you bring home that knowledge that you did something to stop bad people from bringing bad things into our country, I feel very, very happy about what I'm doing. If anything looks suspicious, and um, that's just according to knowledge that we've gained throughout the years of what looks legitimate and what's not looking legitimate, also aircraft, aircraft usually give themselves away by uh, not doing what they're telling everybody that they're doing or going into areas of possible suspect activity. P3 platform comes with two kinds of radar. Uh, one is an airborne early detection uh, radar system that was uh, put on top of a P3 that came from an E2. The other radar system is a surface search radar primarily that uh, looks for the vessels and vessel traffic that is approaching from the littoral waters of our uh, Central and South American countries. Combined, they uh, do a very thorough job of looking for air and surface targets as they approach uh, from those countries and destined for the United States. This airplane and its sister ship have the ability to patrol thousands and thousands of miles of open ocean on any given flight. During the eight hours that we'll operate today, we'll transit well over a thousand miles and be in both the Caribbean and in the Pacific hunting for narcotics. The farther away from America we can stop this, the more difficult we can make it for the people who want to bring that up here, I think the better the American public is.
we are certainly, we're the most capable platform for taking this fight long, well south, and long away from our shores. That's the advantage. U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Air and Marine Operations P3 program. Watching, stopping, and protecting the United States of America 24-7. To learn more about a career with Air and Marine Operations, visit cbp.gov forward slash careers.